Hey guys, Tech Adventure with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to be comparing the new iPhone 13 Pro Max with the iPhone 12 Pro Max that was actually released about 11 months before. So within this 11 months, how much has changed between these two devices? Well, in this video, we're going to take a look at some of the hardware differences, the software, and then the overall build and performance between these two phones, whether you're considering upgrading from the the 12 Pro Max to the 13 Pro Max, well, is it really worth it for you? And all of that we're going to discuss in this video. But before we dive into today's video, if you guys are new to our channel, we do a lot of tech news reviews and giveaways, so make sure that like and subscribe. But also, if you guys are in the market for one of these devices at a discounted price, make sure you guys check out the link in the description section. So let's go ahead and take these phones out of the box here. So first thing first is, of course, there's two different colors. And by default, both of them actually come in very similar colors. So you can actually get both the 12 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max in the same base colors, which Apple keeps for its flagship phone, which is going to be your silver, gold, and graphite. But additionally, for the very first time, is going to be different shades of blue, which both of them have. The 12 Pro Max actually comes in specific blue if you're looking for something different. And then uh, the 13 Pro Max comes in your Sierra blue. So that's slightly different shades of blue. But here in this video, we have the white version, as you can see, or the silver version, as Apple calls it. So similarly, we've seen it both ways. And then the gold edition of the 13 Pro Max here. So as you can see here, the gold one, it's a premium color. It's similar shade of gray that we, the gold that we've seen on actually the 12 lineup. So the gold shade hasn't changed as we saw that it has changed from the 11 to 12. And of course, right off the bat between both of these two phones, you'll notice these are the biggest iPhones you can get. And that's the case because these are the 6.7 inch display iPhones. And you'll notice here, if you hold them side by side, exactly identical if i switched them around you probably wouldn't be able to tell the difference the only way you probably would have could tell is that top notch if you take a close look at it the 13 pro max here has a smaller notch versus the 12 pro max which has a bigger notch so again display wise that's probably one of the noticeable things on it but then if you look at from the back side here so if we flip it around and take a look at it again you won't be able to tell the difference between the 12 Pro Max and the 13 Pro Max and that's because of how much of the design had stayed the same. There's not a lot going on for the design of both of these two phones and that's kind of the case with this both of the phones and if you have pretty much a case you can probably fit your 12 Pro Max in the 13 Pro Max. The one noticeable thing here are going to be the cameras on the 13 Pro Max. Again, slightly raised, a little bit bigger if you take a close up zoom shot of it. It's something we looked at before. Again, it's one of the probably the noticeable things between it. But from a distance, you can really tell, or if you're looking at from the front side, it's something that you'll notice if you hold it again very close, slightly side by side. So that's going to be another thing. So the other thing between these two phones is that the another big thing Apple has done is that the 13 Pro, since it was released, the 12 Pro Max is not available on Apple's website any longer. You can't actually buy this directly from Apple. If you do buy it, it probably has to be through a third party or if you get it from your carrier. So this phone is no longer there. And that's why we have some link in the description section if you guys want to check those out if you're still looking at this phone. And the thing about these two phones are they're pretty expensive phones for the base model. They start at $1099 when both of them were released. And that's just for the 128 gig here, which you can get the 13 Pro Max right now off Apple's website. Again, the 12 Pro Max isn't available, but the price for the 12 Pro Max hasn't dropped a lot. Maybe 100, 150 to $200 discount somewhere we've seen, but because Apple tends to, with Apple iPhones, they tend to hold their value. Now, again, the other thing to note about is that for the very first time on the 13 Pro Max, it's going to be the storage capacity. Now, you're actually able to get this at one terabyte, but then you're almost paying close to $1,600, $1,700 with taxes and everything. So this phone can be quite expensive if you really max out the specs because with storage with Apple devices, as you know, you have to get a predetermined storage, and then after that, you can add a SD 
you can add SD card or a memory card to increase that storage. That's going to be a big factor when it comes to it. Of course, you can get now Apple oh, iCloud Plus storage, which you would pay extra on top of this. So we mentioned a lot of similarities between the phones in terms of build and the body. Now let's talk about the chipset on these two devices. So if you look at the chipset on it, both of the phones again have very much unique uh, feature in terms of the chipset which Apple when they were released claimed that both of the phones are pretty much the fastest phone and that's the case for the 13 Pro Max with this A15 Bionic chip and now for the GPU there's one core increase so it is five core versus four core on the 12 Pro Max that's going to be probably the bigger things to notice between these two phones besides that chip wise both of the phones again all have very phenomenal chipset which allow you to play games that you play on the gaming console and it's a huge screen so it makes really nice between these two phones because they are the bigger phones but again in terms of benchmark we've seen that they can pretty much crank out some pretty powerful speed now let's talk about the battery life of these two phones so quickly touching on the battery life is you're going to notice when you talk about battery life the 13 pro max actually got an upgrade now the battery life is around close to almost 4300 mAh versus or around 37 36 7, 3600 mAh on the uh, 12 Pro Max so quite of an increase for your bigger battery size for the 13 Pro Max and in terms of video playback you get it for a very first time about 28 hours of video playback the most that we've seen on any on any iPhones for the matter of fact versus 20 hours on the iPhone 12 Pro Max so that's a big increase in terms of the actual size of it so between that phone we also can can take a look at between these phones are going to be now the other aspect which is going to be the display here again the display we mentioned quite that from a front view it doesn't look like much has changed and that's pretty much the case when it break out down the specs here the one thing with the 13 pro max is that smaller notch but along with the smaller notches that when we swipe as you'll see there's a 128 refresh rate that's been introduced for the very first time on the 13 pro max lineup and along with that it's going to be the max brightness so if you're a person that takes the phone outside you probably notice there's a slight increase in the max brightness nit which increased to 1000 versus only 800 on the 12 pro max besides that all the other noticeable oh, things like uh, the pixel resolution the contrast ratio true tone display and white color haptic touch all of that are pretty much the same so none of that has really changed between these two devices which again it seems like apple sort of took all of the improvements that they made on the 12 pro max just slapped it on on the 13 pro max without really doing a lot of innovation there of course so that's sort of where you're looking at when you're comparing these two phones again the other thing about both of these phones are going to be your camera again if you haven't noticed of course we mentioned slightly is that bigger camera but along that there's subtle differences as well in terms of camera again not to say the 13 pro camera has improved a lot but it did bring on some of the newer features the 12 pro max here the camera you know it's it's a great camera and we've seen that's the case with it but along with the new 13 Pro Max now you have this first uh, feature which is known as photographic styles where you can pretty much choose this style that you want for your photos here which by default Apple sets up a couple of settings here now along with that is going to be the cinematic mode which allows you to capture more shallow depth in terms of recording videos at that 1080 30 frames per second which we saw in Apple's commercial seems to be sort of this visual quality of film grade video that you can record again really sort of neat feature in terms of the camera so along with the, both of the phones of course both of the phones with the software itself can uh, be updated to iOS 15 in terms of looking at how long these phones are going to be supported expect to be supported for another four to five years no doubt both of the phones will get you through a really long time without really impacting much here but the one thing we will say is that between these two phones is that the software has been pretty stable since we updated to iOS 15 which we made some 
of the videos to sort of review that and that was the case between both of the phones now let's go ahead and talk about why you might choose the 13 pro max over the 12 all pro max well there are subtle differences between these two phones of course the price being one of them because of course the 13 pro starts at 1099 the 12 pro max the only probably reason why you would get this or would uh, consider buying it, it's probably because you're paying two hundred dollars less depending on where you can get it from but besides that we mentioned the display here slightly improved with that 128 refresh rate smaller top notch there and then just the increase in max bright in it again another thing is going to be the battery so if you're a person that wants to have this massive battery on their phone which massive wide it's a 4352 mAh versus 3687 mAh on the 12 uh, Pro Max so that's almost a 665 mAh larger battery which means this phone again we saw eight hours in terms of video playback that it does increase when you bump up that battery and take a look at that so that's going to be the other thing to consider along with that again we mentioned in terms of the performance so that's something we haven't tested on it for you to show here but in terms of test benchmark that we've seen on the and tutu benchmark is that 17 percent better performance because of that a 15 bionic chip with that of course five gig of a gpu as well that has been added and lastly in terms of uh, geek benchmark that we have done we've seen a nine percent faster in the single core processing on the 13 pro max now are those groundbreaking uh, speeds in terms of performance uh, not really quite again you're not going to probably notice if you're a regular user even if you're a heavy gamer or you use multitasking it's one of those things where again on a smartphone does it really matter how much speed they have between those slight improvements probably not and we really don't think it's going to be a big factor for you so it's going to probably be coming down to whether you should upgrade to the 13 pro max from the 12 pro max we don't really think there is too much going on besides that improve a display and camera and then of course the battery those are the three things and if those three things matter of course you might consider upgrading but if they don't you probably are fine with sticking with the 12 pro max so hopefully this video is helpful for you guys if this video is helpful please make sure to hit that like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time